Hello and welcome back to another bullet journal setup. For September I had a pretty clear and detailed vision of what I wanted to do. I wanted to incorporate both cosmos flowers and I'm fully aware that they're the birth flower for October but I'm using them for September anyway and swans for some reason. So I sketched out a basic sketch here on my cover page and as you can see I've put a September related poem on the other side. As you can see I've already done a faint pencil sketch and I'm now going over that in a thicker pencil and then with a fine liner. I added a little bit of shading with some colored pencils as well. And then it was time to go in with brush pens to create the cosmos flowers. Cosmos flowers are really simple to paint as well. You literally take your brush pen and do a couple of squiggles around an imaginary center. And then you can add stems, stamen and outlines in pen. For our monthly and weekly setup, I found some really nice inspiration online about a full Dutch drawer design for the entire month and I decided to try and replicate that. So I went ahead and I cut half the page away vertically, like so. And I did that to two pages, so I got space for four weeks in total. And the idea here is that we're going to arrange the days of the month on these little Dutch drawer pages and then we're going to put to-do lists and habit trackers and whatnot on the full pages at either end so we can see them throughout the whole month. I decided to etch the little Dutch drawers in gold washi tape and then use my adding gold fine liner to letter in each day of the month. I decorated the page with some more cosmos flowers and then I added my habit trackers, a goals and focus list and both of these will be hidden when you actually use the Dutch drawer design and the to-do lists will go on the very edge of each page so they peek through and are visible throughout the whole month. I also decided that I wanted to start writing down at least one thing I'm grateful for each day, so I added space for that on each day of the month as well. And here is the finished setup. Let's do a quick flip through.
I hope this video provided you with some inspiration for your bullet journal setup for September and let me know if you've ever tried a weird Dutch drawer monthly setup like this before. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.